Good morning, world of readers. I am Book Dragon Erin, and I would like to welcome you all back to my booktube channel, where today I will be reviewing Heaven by Darcy Rose. First, as you can see, I am not in my usual filming room, which is my bedroom. That is because my bedroom is an absolute mess, and I need to clean it up and organize all my yarn, reorganize my books a little bit, and just get that taken care of before I return to filming in my bedroom. Getting right into the video on Heaven by Darcy Rose. Heaven is a fictional contemporary romance novel, and it is book one in the Heaven and Hell series. In the Heaven and Hell series, we have Heaven, Hell, Hitman, Poisoned Paradise, Serpents, Possessive, and Wrong. Take a glimpse into Purgatory, an exclusive club where your wildest dreams will come true or where your worst nightmares will swallow you whole. I've had a crush on my stepbrother for as long as I can remember. He came home for my 18th birthday party. All I wanted was to show him that I'm not a little girl anymore. I just didn't know that that would be the worst decision of my life. I haven't read many stepbrother romance novels, but Sicko by Ammo Jones is actually on the top of my stepbrother romance reading list. And in the meantime, though, I will say with certainty that Heaven by Darcy Rose is my favorite stepbrother romance so far. Eve's mom married Dean's dad, making them step-siblings and totally off-limits to each other, but they said F it to all the rules when entering Purgatory Sex Club. They wanted each other so badly, and they didn't know that it was the other they were hooking up with, and the plot twist that Dean figured it out was actually pretty cool. First, Purgatory Sex Club is basically a club where you go to a bar and then you tell them what you're looking for in the way of a fantasy sex scene with yourself and whoever else. And you get to say the rules that you are comfortable with. You come up with a safe word and everything. And so Eve, who wanted Dean so badly, decided not to let her sex partner say anything because she wanted to imagine it was Dean. And Dean wanted somebody who looked sort of like Eve, not knowing that it was actually Eve herself. And the plot twist that I was talking about, when Eve was a kid, she got hurt biking and wound up with a scar on her leg. Dean was the one to kiss Eve's wounds because her mom and her stepdad really didn't seem to care about her at all, Dean being the only one who genuinely cared about Eve. So when Dean was running his hands along Eve's legs, he felt the scar and he's like, oh my God, this is my stepsister, I know it. But he didn't say stepsister, he said something completely different that I am not going to repeat because I want you to read the book too. Dean came to realize that Eve was meant to be his even before their parents got married or even existed. So that was really interesting to me just because he is so into Eve in the best possible ways and Eve is so into him in the best possible ways that their romance can't not work out. Yes, it's going to be taboo when they actually do get married because they are still step siblings, but they are not going to let their both single parents who got married keep them apart from each other. Also, I'm not new to the sex club trope in the dark romance genre, but this book definitely does it right. I personally have never been to a sex club, but the imagery these dark romance novels seem to evoke is so exciting and fascinating to me. Personally, I would never do something like what Eve did, wanting to give her virginity to a complete stranger, despite being Dean himself, but more power to her. The scene that almost broke my heart was when Dean told Eve that he was going to fly back to his house and live the rest of his life just like that. And Eve was panicking, oh my gosh, is he going to leave me now? And I absolutely love the epilogue of this novel, how Eve and Dean escaped their parents' control and planned on eloping. 
Us readers don't get details on their wedding ceremony itself, but we do get Dean's admission to Eve that he wants to have a baby with her now. I see Dean as addicted to Eve, and that isn't something he wants to be free of, nor do I want to hear a story about their breakup. I really hope that all good things happen for them with a wedding and a baby, and kudos to Darcy Rose, the author, for writing this hot as hell novel that I devoured in a single night. I loved it. I am here for the entire series. Give me more. Now, if I had to describe this book in three words and partial explanations, I would say that this book is kinky because of the Purgatory Sex Club with its unusual but unique rules when it comes to sex in general. This book is also forbidden, being that this is a step-sibling romance novel, which is still all very taboo. And this book is badass, with Eve's character transformation from little stepsister to beautiful young woman, and Dean finally standing up to his dad. My rating for this book, 5 out of 5 stars, hands down. I loved this novel. I have very little negativity to talk about in reading this novel. And as far as my official review goes, whoa, wow, and whoa again. This book was so much, and I still want more. This steamy, smutty, forbidden, and quite possibly my favorite stepbrother romance of all time, this novel does it right. If any author writes a step-sibling romance, somebody should be very interested and inspired by Darcy Rose's Heaven, because this book is incredible. Intense, yes, and incredible. I really do hope that Eve and Dean get married with a big F.U. to Dean's controlling father, who arranged for Dean to marry Rosalie for her money and influential power. I really hope Dean gets Eve pregnant, and I do wonder what their child will be named. Probably because I'm a little bit baby crazy right now, but that's completely normal for me. Seriously, I am here for Darcy Rose's novels, and I think her work will definitely be my next indie romance obsession. Anyway, that is all for today, so if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to show some support, subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this, turn on that notification button to be notified when I upload brand new videos every single Sunday, keep on reading, and have a great day everyone! And before we go, I would like to make an announcement about my second channel, Erin Rogoff Official. That channel is all centered around movie and TV show reviews and art vlogs and anything that doesn't have to do with books like it does on this channel. So if you're interested, go check out my second channel. Again, Erin Rogoff Official. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys next Sunday.